So this video is in response to a question that I received recently, which is, is there a difference between tonic herbs and adaptogens? So this video is going to explore that subject and answer that question. So the short answer and the gist of the whole thing is there's really no difference between adaptogens and tonic herbs because according to this book here, which is adaptogens, and according to pretty much everything that I've researched, adaptogens and tonic herbs are basically the same thing and what it is is that in, in older cultures before we had science and before we had you know biochemical analysis pharmacological analysis they had tonic herbs they had rasayanas which would be the chinese version of the tonic herb and then rasayana would be the indian or ayurvedic version of the tonic herb but now since we have modern science and we can get in and see this chemical is doing this and etc we have our own version of tonic herb or rasayana, which is adaptogen. Now, I'm going to read a quote from James Duke, PhD, which is, if you haven't heard of that guy, he's a pretty major herbalist and ethnobotanist. And he says, all plants contain adaptogenic compounds because plants have to contend with a lot of stress themselves. Because, you know, in order for a plant to survive and to fulfill its genetic potential and grow and reproduce, and continue the species, it has to fight stress, it has to have an immune system, it has to deal with hot, cold, dry, wetness, all of these things which we have to deal with on a daily basis as well. And you'll notice that many of the famed tonic herbs grow in very extreme, harsh climates, or, you know, bad soil, high altitudes, mountains, things like that, which challenges them to really be adaptogenic and really adapt to their climate which basically when we take them in, when we consume them, we're able to consume and imbibe those same properties. Now, another thing that I'll read from this book is basically what is an adaptogen versus what is a tonic herb? Because maybe you're new to this conversation and you don't know what an adaptogen is or you don't know what a tonic herb is. So basically an adaptogen is just a, a plant, a substance that allows our body to adapt to stress and to handle stress more easily and efficiently and effectively so that we're not constantly so beat down by stress. Basically, it increases our resistance to physical, biological, mental, emotional, physical, spiritual stressors which are coming, to, coming at us and hitting us and influencing us pretty much every single day, every moment, every single, mo every single moment of every single day because you know emotional stress, mental stress, spiritual stress plus all the emotional or um, environmental toxins, electromagnetic pollution, things like that. It's just a non-stop barrage that's coming at us. So basically what adaptogens do is kind of modulate and rewire our body's response and our body's ability to handle those stresses. So a tonic herb by the classical definition is basically an herb which tones up or strengthens a certain function or certain organ system or energy system in the body much in the same way where you would go to the gym and you know start to really focus in on building your upper body and you start on day one and you have a certain level of you know muscle mass and strength but on day 60 day 30 day 90 you have a higher level a higher degree of muscle strength and muscle mass because you've toned up tonified and strengthened the muscle much in the same way similar way these herbs work on our organs in the same way so you know in old times they were called you know rejuvenating herbs chi tonic herbs rasayanas restoratives etc but now our modern definition is called an adaptogen because that's what we've been able to scientifically identify and scientifically study through you know biochemical analysis pharmacological analysis so basically long story short adaptogens and tonic herbs are essentially the same thing but tonic herb was more of the, the older understanding and labeling because we didn't perceive things with the microscope. We perceived things with our actual body, our actual instrument that we're using to interface with reality. Whereas now with science, we're using not our instrument because usually we're so out of touch with our body. We're not feeling the body. We're not sensing the body. We're not sensing the subtle energies in the body. So we need microscopes. We need biochemical analysis. We need chemical assays. We need all of those different things to be able to tell us what chemicals what and what chemicals do and what interacting with what and all these different things so it's two different approaches one isn't necessarily better than the other they're just different um, so that's tonics versus adaptogens if you have any questions or comments post them below and i'll talk to you soon